Hi guys, Mary here. Um, it's been a few days, I think. Um, the guest house is getting busier. It's a little noisier in the mornings. Um, so getting quiet time to do a video is a little harder than it used to be. <laughs> so, and frankly, I've been a little overwhelmed. I feel a little overwhelmed with everything that's going on so quickly. It's hard to know what to read on. Um, I guess, um, I guess what I'm going to read on today is Mick Mulvaney, who uh, Trump um, has uh, working, I guess he'll start at the new year as um, temporary chief of staff. I don't know what they call it, acting chief of staff. Okay. So this is Mick. It's, it's amazing how little I know about politics. Mick Mulvaney, okay, Mick Mulvaney. He is acting chief of staff, so let me just do a little reading on him. What can you tell us, Spirit, about Mick Mulvaney? What can you tell us about Mick Mulvaney? Okay, this is funny. Um, this is a little nod from Spirit. This is the King of Pentacles. And in a previous reading, I think on the government shutdown, I did read it as Queen of Pentacles, and I apologize. Um, I don't think it would have changed the reading outcome, but nevertheless, I am sorry. Um, so these cards, um, this is called the Shadowscapes deck. It's from, what's her name? Stephanie Poo Moon Law, I think, and it's on Amazon. Anyway, the, um, the writing's pretty small. It looks good when it's up here on screen, but I definitely need my glasses, which I have, and I apologize. <laughs> okay, so the first card up on Mick Mulvaney is the King of Pentacles. So I can tell from that card that he um, likes money. Um, I think anyone that sur surrounds Trump is motivated by money as a factor. So there's money here. Uh, let's see what else I can get from Mick Mulvaney. Sir, please show us what you can on Mick Mulvaney, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. We have the death card. Hmm. So it's change and transition. It could just be tra change and transition, um, transitioning into this new position. Um, but what my gut feeling is on this is this will be a very short tenure for Mick Mulvaney. Um, and I don't think that he is fond of President Trump. So... He may actually get in there and realize that it's a little more than he had bargained for. I'm not sure. Um, but what else can you tell me, Spirit, about Mick Mulvaney? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Another king card. This is the King of Cups. So what this tells me is that Mick Mulvaney, although his emotions are, he doesn't like Trump. Um, I think he called him a name. I think he called him, I forget, he, he called him a negative, he, he had a negative comment for him um, a couple years ago or a year ago, something like that. But I think that the King of Cups has emotions, but keeps them, um, in check, so to speak. So I feel like Mick Mulvaney, during his tenure as Chief of Staff, will keep his emotions in check and just try to get through it. That's what I'm seeing. Um, last card, Spirit. Please show us what we need to know about Mick Mulvaney. Two of Pentacles. I feel like he's going to be jug juggling his own inner 
feelings about the situation, his own inner judgments, his own inner how he thinks things should go. And he's going to be juggling that and um, Donald Trump, um, how, he, how Donald Trump thinks should go. So I feel like he's just going to be trying to keep the balls in the air in the office. Um, it's going to be like uh, between his own feelings of what's right and what Trump wants to do. It's going to be a balancing act for him. That's what I see for Mick Mulvaney. All right, so. All right, so I got the question about the um, NRA, the National Rifle Association, if they'll be held accountable for um, the money that streamed through. Either it streamed through them for the Republican Party from the Russians, or it streamed through, they may have had a PAC, like a, what do they call that? Something PAC. Um, I'm not sure, but let's just ask Spirit. Spirit, will the NRA be held accountable for their actions in the Trump election? Will the NRA be held accountable for their actions? Please show me. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to say that the um, I'm going to say that well, it's money. It's a lot of money. It's the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like the Mueller vest, and this is all about working diligently at something. So, I feel like the Mueller investigation is going to be working diligently um, to make sure that justice is served as far as the NRA goes in regards to all that money that was laundered through them or somehow went through um, the NRA from the Russians for the uh, Republican. Yeah, it's um, the NRA is trying to keep secrets close to their vests, close to their chest, um, but this all has to do with money. Um, Spirit, what else can you tell us about the NRA? Will they be held accountable? Will they be held accountable? This is the Page of Wands. So it's... Um, There's a new action or a new communication that's going to come in. This could be the information that Maria Butina is sharing with investigators about the NRA. I'm not really sure. Could be information that, I mean, th there's been a lot of Russian indictments, so it could be coming from that. Spirit, so what can you tell us about the NRA? Will they be brought to justice? Will they be held accountable? What can you tell us? Well, it's the Ten of Cups. Um... Cup energy is emotional energy. This is usually like um, being emotionally um, fulfilled. It doesn't really tell me anything about the NRA. One last card, please, Sarah. What can you tell us about the NRA? Will they be held accountable? Will the NRA be held accountable? I think so. It's the Three of Cups, so it's a celebration. This could be... Um,
You know, I just see a happy family, happy home, fulfillment, emotionally fulfilled. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that um, because we got the celebration card with the Three of Cups, I feel like the NRA will be held accountable. And I'm getting like, spirit is funny. Sometimes they can make things more fair and balanced and uneven keel in different ways. So um, lots get gone down with gun control, groups trying to um, have more gun control in the United States. It could be that this whole thing that they did with the money laundering for the um, Trump administration through Russia Although they were trying to make the NRA more, you know, um, gun rights and all of that, I feel like it's going to backfire on them when the information comes out from Maria Butina and other sources. I feel like gun control, I feel like this is, I know it sounds weird, but when I just, when I saw this image initially, that's what I went to, a safer environment for America, like, even though they may just be indicted um, as a corporation and they may have to pay fines or something. I don't know how it works with corporations, but I feel like this could be the undoing of the NRA so that gun control maybe will have a, a better chance in this country. Um, that's what I'm getting. All right. What do we have for time? 11.49. Do we have time for another one? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Let me just, um, I have a couple minutes, so let me just pull an energy card for the day. Today is Saturday, December 15th, I believe. So um, know that the full moon is coming and um, the solstice is coming. I think it's the 21st of December. So it's a good time to think about things that you want to let go of that no longer serve you. Um, full moon ceremonies are great to burn uh, make a list of things that you want to remove from your life and just burn it and just let it go out into the ethers um, another thing I wanted to mention if you can get out in the sunlight first thing in the morning anytime between December 19th and the 22nd 23rd just try to get out into the sun just for a little bit the sun's energy there's some really great energies coming through the sun. If you could just spend a little, do a little morning meditation in the sun um, during that time would be really good for you. Okay. All right, so the energies of today are, this is Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle, Unfinished Symphony, number 10. 10 is all about um, new beginnings. So um, in order to start something fresh and new for the new year. I want you to look at things that need to be wrapped up. Not just like um, Christmas <laughs> and holiday stuff, but little things that you could wrap up in your life that would give you a clean slate to move forward in the new year. For me, I've been going around, I have this big black trash bag and it started in my closet then it started in my bathroom, and then it moved to my bathroom, then my dresser. And now I have this huge trash, trash bag full of things that I no longer use. I'm going to go through it and give away some things, and some things I just have to throw out and let go. But um, for me, that was something that I wanted to do to just clear space. Um, but just look at what in your life that you need to wrap up, tie up loose ends. It's a new year coming, uh, clean slate. So... Um, think of it that way. Okay. All right. I hope that you have a great Saturday and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please put, um, give me a thumbs up if you can. It helps the channel. And um, don't forget about the retreat here in Calabra, Puerto Rico. If you just Google Calabra, the island of Calabra, you'll see all the beautiful beaches. And um, if you have any questions about it, just go to the lighthousemedium.com. The lighthousemedium.com, all one word. All right, guys, thanks so much. Have a great day. Take care.